Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we show you how to remove and replace the door panel on this um, 2000 Lincoln Town Car, same as any 9802. Uh, tools you'll need could vary. This vehicle had been apart a few times so it required a Phillips and a flat blade and a Torx bit driver. Um, I believe you should be able to just do this with a Phillips screwdriver if your car has not been previously molested. Uh, door panel removal, um, it's fairly simple. Uh, on this vehicle this door panel has been taken apart a bunch of times, so uh, some of the fasteners may be different for you, uh, as well as, for example, it has a screw here, which I believe most cars probably don't. Um, the reason it has a screw here, I believe, is because so many of the uh, pins in behind that hold it um, are broken. Uh, but what you want to start is remove your door lock knob just by unscrewing it. Okay, then in under here, should be two on this vehicle. They're Phillips screws, um, and you just kind of put your screwdriver up under there. Now there's another Phillips screw up in here. out and then right in here you'll see uh, there's another Phillips screw that goes into the door panel okay and as you can tell I've been fast forwarding when I just get to the uh, monotonous stuff so you remove that screw and then there's another screw uh, next to the rear side of the pole there. okay then at the bottom there's two more Phillips screws. Um, it's kind of a little indent in the carpet. Just put your screwdriver in there, twist it a little bit, and you'll get to the screw. Okay. This car has a little torque screw here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be there or not. I'll remove it. This may not be on all cars. Okay, and then there is another screw here, uh, but this is broken on my car, so I know there's no screw in there. Um, and then what there is, is there's a series of clips. So you would want to work your hand underneath here, and there's one clip right here, and get your hand as close to those. You'll, you can slide your hand underneath, and you slide it over, and you feel it getting tighter and tighter. Okay, and then you give a good pull. Get that clip out, and then come up here on the top. Okay, give a good pull. Another clip there, and then on these vehicles, there's more clips. There's clips in the middle, uh, and more on the edge. Um, but like I said, this vehicle has been a part a few times. Okay, and actually, before you pull the door panel off, you want to pull your window switch up in the front, and then pull it out. And then there's a series of harnesses that just have little tabs. You press the tab, pull the harness down. Okay, this gray one, tab, pull it down. Tab here on the black one. And then tab here for the brown one. few more harness connections back here. A couple of small harnesses with a black and white connector. Okay, press a little button here, pull that apart. The blue connector here that has a tab on it that you you pull the wires of the blue connector, pull the tab out. It's hard to see. 
Okay, and then there's a gray connector here. Okay, again, big tab. Pull it apart. Except the screw's not quite all the way out, so. Okay. And your door panel is off. Okay, now with the door panel off, you can see um, there's a whole bunch of different places here, 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 um, and all up here. Those are the different places where there would be pins. Uh, my door panel, like I said, is pretty broken. It looks like this car has been apart a few times. Uh, so most of those pins weren't holding anything. The only, things, the only pins that were holding were here, down here, and up here. Okay, so reinstalling the door panel, pretty much a reverse of the procedure. First we're gonna reconnect some of the harnesses here. Black one. Reconnect the black one. Okay. Get the panel close. The blue one. And this gray one. Now keep in mind, my panel doesn't have hardly any of the uh, tabs that it should have to hold it. So, put it up here, get my lock through. Okay, there are some tabs that are longer that go into holes to locate everything. So I've got my front one in here. Harnesses through. Make sure they're not getting caught up anywhere. And now I have to make sure that I get these brackets through. Now I'm going to start by uh, doing this screw, which probably you, you may not have, because it kind of holds everything in. Put this screw down in, down here. Very carefully feed this screw in. Now the strap, you need to have the and there's just a regular hole on one side and kind of a domed hole and that you want to be on top it's a hole with a notch in it as well that goes on top make sure that goes around the bracket in there and pull it and with these you want to make sure you're kind of right up against there and you just kind of feel in, get it started. Make sure you can't pull it out. So it's in the right spot. Okay. Same thing with this one. Get it in the right spot here.
I just speed up through finishing that screw and then give it a quick test. Okay. The lock back on. And if you have a screw for down in here, you can reinstall that as well. Switch panel. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.